Well, as you can see, I've kept my promise. I chose a comment, and it appears we're a bit in a bit of a rebellious mood lately, so the Irish Rebellion. Now, as you can see, she talked about the recent series uh, Rebellion, and I'm going to tell you everything that I know about it. Well, now you're cut up to speed, at least as far as I am. Now. Let's talk about the 1916 Easter Rising. The Easter Rising, or as it's known in Ireland, that came about as a myriad of different problems. It, now, it, before I go into that, it should be noted that this is not the first Irish Rebellion. There were dozens before, and there were several after that. Uh, but this one in particular is very, very sacred and celebrated in Ireland. Uh, and it's just a symbol of British oppression on the Irish people at the time, uh, for a number of reasons, uh, especially considering that Ireland has always been bullied by the UK for a very, very long time especially the English, and the outbreak of World War I a couple of years earlier, and the massive conscription of Irish citizens to fight an English war, a British war, thousands, hundreds of miles away, in terrible, terrible conditions, seemed to spark rebellion. The rise began on the 24th of April, 1916. And it was located mostly around Dublin, but of course was in, in smaller patches in some other areas. And at first things seemed to be going well for the Irish. They were capturing lots of weapons, they were holding back British forces, and in the street fighting British were uh, being picked off bit by bit. But the Irish weren't al exactly alone in this. Especially, and it wasn't just Irish male volunteers, there were also a lot of women in, the, in there in the ranks, about 200 of them at least. And Germany tried to send some rifles due to the fact that the Irish were rebelling against the British, their enemy, but they were intercepted by the uh, British forces. Now the use of artillery and heavy machine guns by the British meant that there were a lot of civilian casualties. In fact, the significant majority, well over half the people killed, were civilians or people mistaken for rebels. And this is just, and the humongous massacre that this was, which essentially was a massacre by the British, eventually led to increased significant support for Irish independence. Of course, it was a bit too late at that point, as by the 29th of April, just five, six days later, the Irish rebels had to have an unconditional surrender, and many of the rebels were taken away to various prisons or concentration camps, and the significant majority of the Irish rebellion leaders were executed. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you want me to talk about a different historical era, please leave a comment. Thank you.